the restless comrade Kim, with his sister Kim Yo Jong, are not getting off the tabloids of the world's publications North Korea is using funds from its cyber operations to finance the development of nuclear weapons. Japan, South Korea and the United States are concerned about this fact and inform the world community about North Korea's increasing capabilities in cyberspace, Al Jazeera reported. In principle, it is not news that Little Kim has become the Korean Robin Hood, but for the first time, Western allies are saying that Pyongyang is making its own winged babies at the expense of this money. Well, it finally comes to this. The United States, South Korea and Japan express deep concern about North Korea's cyber activity in support of its programs. According to the United Nations, cryptocurrency funds stolen by North Korean hackers have been a key source of funding for the country's weapons programs with such theft reaching a record high last year. We confirm with concern that DP or KIT workers abroad continue to use fake IDs and passports to circumvent UN sanctions and raise funds for missile programs. The three countries' envoys said in a joint statement on Friday. Al Jazeera reported, So not only is Pyongyang building its military-industrial complex products at American expense, it's also using fake IDs for its agents. I wonder what kind of passports Kim gives them, Japanese or American, but it's the Japanese who are the most worried. The fact is that according to Pyongyang's national doctrine, it is not going to land its babies on the territory of the south of the Korean peninsula. North Korea's doctrine says peaceful reunification in black and white. Only the bosses of the unified country that sit in Pyongyang. The Japanese, on the other hand, are not playing their game. Not only are they under the watchful eye of Comrade Xi, but Pyongyang keeps launching something new in the Japanese sea. And it seems the Japanese have begun to realize that the US nuclear umbrella is only reliable. On paper, the Japanese ambassador strongly condemned North Korea's unprecedentedly frequent missile launch, manoeuvres, as a serious and imminent threat to regional security. Japanese Foreign Ministry Japan on Friday announced a two-year extension of its trade ban on North Korea with humanitarian exemptions. What does that mean? And that Japan, along with a number of Asian countries, is once again blocking imports of Korean goods. Not only that, but Tokyo also manages to hold joint exercises with the Americans. True, each such prank is accompanied by a Hwasong-17 salute in the direction of the irritants, the US and South Korea have been holding a series of annual spring exercises since March, including air and sea drills and their first large-scale amphibious landing exercise in five years. North Korea has reacted violently to the drills, calling them a rehearsal for a confrontation. In response, Pyongyang unveiled new, advanced nuclear warheads and fired an intercontinental ballistic missile with a range of up to 10, zero kilometers. It also again tested an underwater drone capable of carrying nuclear weapons. As Pyongyang continues to build up its military arsenal, South Korean President Yun suk yeol also called for greater awareness of the country's ongoing human rights violations. Are you serious? This isn't even a broken record anymore. It's some retro Obama era monologue. The theft of Western assets in cyberspace does something to excite the brain of the Western reader and freedom of something is ancient. North Korea just wants its half of the peninsula back and to reunite the people. No democratized and enlightened bosses from Seoul fit into this strategy. The bosses have to sit in Pyongyang. This whole thing can be pulled off at a time when the US is severely weakened and that's when Pyongyang will start the reunification, softly and quietly. As for Japan, the guys in Kimona are so oversensible and confident in American defense that they don't even notice how they are being groomed for the role of Ukraine. Only in Asia, a united Korea North and South is the kind of power that is bound to become a key player in Asia, with access to the sea, with neighbors like Russia and China, with a colossal military complex that has been built up on both sides of the Korean peninsula, not to mention the human potential and technology the events of the last century and the first quarter of the 21st century 
have hardened both couriers like steel. But the most important thing is the constant growth of the population. Both couriers already have under 80 million people and the growth continues. At this rate, they will pass the 90 million mark by the middle of the 21st century. If Pyongyang does everything right, in the second half of this century, United Korea will take its rightful place in the new world order.